My name is Christian Bemi. I'm a lung doctor and a critical care doctor at Banner University Medical Center in Tucson, Arizona. And I've been taking care of uh, patients with COVID-19 for the past two to three weeks. Essentially, what happens is when the virus gets into the airway, it attacks the cells that line the surface of the lungs. We call those cells epithelial cells. So the linings of the airway are designed such that things do not just move in and out of the tissues, right? And so it pretty much protects the airway. So it attaches onto those cells, gets into the cells, and multiplies. When it gets to a certain level, it busts the cell open. When the cells that line the airways are destroyed by this virus, it leads to what we call inflammation, which is the body trying to fight that virus. And what happens is that the cells that normally stay within the blood vessel and the fluid that normally stays within the blood vessel now goes into the air sacs and fills up the air sacs. And when the air sacs are filled with this fluid and all these cells, they no longer perform the function of filtering out the bad gas, which is carbon dioxide, and taking in oxygen, which the body needs. And therefore, the patient doesn't have enough oxygen and doesn't breathe very well. And so they get really, really sick and need to be put on life support. So within a matter of hours, they go from needing just a, a few liters of oxygen to being put on life support. The damage is happening very, very quickly. So we, and we don't have the luxury of many, many hours or days before we can uh, have to support these patients. So this is happening really fast.